Last night, Anytype released update 0.40, which is its online sharing update. Now, for those who don't know, Anytype hasn't had any way to collaborate online with other people in a specific Anytype vault. With this update, all of that has changed. You can now add different users to your vault, along with a couple other quality of life features that they've added. So let's quickly jump through all the things that are added in this update. First, obviously, is multiplayer, as they call it. It's online sharing or collaboration. Multiplayer is kind of a funny term for it. I think it's some kind of translation error, but regardless, it's online sharing. You can add different people to your vault. It seems pretty simple to do. And for the free tier of users, I believe you can have three different shared vaults. So three different or any type spaces can be shared at a single time. And that's right, they've also added their membership tiers. So for free, you start as a basic user, I believe, or a, a beta user. Yes, it's a beta user. And then if you want to pay $100 for a year for the builder tier, or $300 for three years for the co-creator tier. And they've got a couple discount codes here. Now, I'll have a couple more thoughts on this in a later video, but the long and short of it is, at least there's a way for us to support any type monetarily now. And from what it seems, all of the current features aren't being locked behind those paywalls. They add more storage or more sharing, but you can still take all of the features and use them in the status quo without having to subscribe, which I think is a good policy. You can also choose a custom storage location. So they revamped the settings a little bit, which finally allows you to do local storage. Up until this point, it's all been stored in the proprietary servers. Now you can store it securely on your desktop instead of somewhere remotely. This is great for the like, data security people. I think this is just good overall, especially because for a lot of people that one gigabyte of storage will probably fill up decently quickly and you're gonna want to be able to store it in other places. This allows you to put it, I believe, in iCloud or other areas. So this is really helpful and I think is a great change. You can also choose your new quick capture menu. So down at the bottom of any type, if you click the plus button, or currently I believe if you right click it, you can bring up a little menu of different objects to quick capture. Now you can go into settings to change that to appear when you hover over that button or just every time you regularly click on it. You can also choose if new objects, when you open them, open in full screen or just that you know preview where they're kind of superimposed on the other objects. Now, the next change I find really exciting because you can now choose a graph view for a set. What this means is you can embed graph views. If you have a set or a collection, you can view it as a graph and then use that as an embedded view, meaning that now in our notes, you can have a tiny little graph of all sorts of objects that you need. This is great. It's something that I don't think any other note-taking application has, and it just goes a long way towards setting any type apart. It's not going to be the kind of thing that's revolutionary, but I think it's gonna capture a lot of people's attention just from the cool functionality of it. And now, of course, you can also filter sets according to the file or media relation, which is kind of cool. You can filter out, as it says, you know, PNG attachments or videos. That's probably just a quality of life feature. I'm sure there's people that this is really helpful for. I'm not personally one of them, but I know people who would probably appreciate this. So this is always great to have. And then of course, they've got some bug fixes. So that's basically all there is to this update. I'll be going over a lot of the features in a more in-depth manner, doing some tutorials on them, but I just wanted to review everything that they've put out here so that all of you are familiar with what's going on. Um, let me know what you think of the update, anything in the update you want me to touch on more clearly or closely in a future video, and I will see all of you guys then. Thanks for watching.